it's made desktops comes with a lot of helpful tools and opportunities. Applications shows you uh, the installed software for education, for office, universal access and many other purposes. Places show you your own folder. The public folder is a special one. Here you can uh, store documents and educational content also for other users like students. And you can also connect to your uh, network server or printer if there is any. And there are also f some very powerful tools for administration. You can either open the tool you need uh, here or there is a control center and in within the control center you will find all helpful tools. Also you are able to add additional drivers or additional languages if you need it. Just check out what is offered here. In this black part over here, in this panel, uh, you can add a starter to open, for instance, the Mozilla Firefox browser at once. But you are also able to add more widgets if you need it for weather reports, for whatever you need. Uh, also, you can find here your network connections. You can administrate it if you have a Wi-Fi or LAN interface. Keyboards, you can switch the layout of keyboards either by clicking with the left mouse click on it or you can add using preferences more layouts. Uh, you can either add it by selected by country or by um, by language and there are many many offered uh, you can print it out you can add it or remove it maximum four are allowed here and battery control uh, volume date and shut down and restart the computer you can as well log out here. This is different. You can switch user or just log out, not uh, restart or shut down the computer. On the desktop itself, you will find several useful links. The Your home folder is already opened here. This is a link to the video files you are watching. Xova, I will explain later, it's an offline tool. Uh, to get access to pre-installed wikis if you have no internet connection. This script is uh, useful if you edit new educational content and you want to make sure that every user has exit, access to them. Uh, please run this script, double click with the left mouse on it. These tools are for uh, visually impaired users, uh, you get a magnifier or this is a text-based browser. If you cannot read the content, then there is a screen reader offering um, to read the content. These two scripts might be removed when you receive the computer. This one is um, to install and update software and this tool is to install codices for multimedia uh, purposes. Uh, some of them are rest uh, restricted um, by license or patents. So please make sure before you install uh, these codices, uh, please make sure uh, that it is legal in your uh, country to install and use it. Otherwise you have to buy uh, software and code it says uh, to not to violate any laws in your country. Um, beside that, uh, you have here another black uh, panel. Uh, this is to minimize um, 
all open windows. Uh, in this area you can see all programs running. Um, as well there are what we call workspaces like virtual monitors. We reduce the number to one but if you have more virtual monitors uh, at one time you can raise it here uh, but average user might be confused having several virtual monitors. And uh, here you have the trash, you can empty it, etc. So it's very easy to, to use it. Uh, in the other videos you will learn about the educational content, educational software and settings. Thank you.